Folks, the Internal Revenue Service uh, admits that black taxpayers are more likely to be subjected uh, to financial investigations than any other group. That's act just absolutely stupid. The, according to the New York Times, IRS Commissioner Daniel Werfel sent a letter to the U.S. Senate detailing their research indicating the audit disparities. The letter in part says, a recent study estimated using imputed race values that black taxpayers are audited at three to five times the rate of non-black taxpayers. The research further suggests that most of this disparity is driven by differences in correspondence audit rates among taxpayers claiming the earned income tax credit. We're deeply concerned by these findings and committed to doing the work to understand and address any disparate impact of the actions we take. Joining us now is an IRS registered tax preparer, and the owner of Infinity Taxes and Beyond, Douglas Lawson from Riviera Beach, Florida. Douglas, glad to have you here. Roland Martin Unfiltered. What the hell? Seriously? I mean, ain't like black folks. I mean, if you want to be auditing somebody, audit these rich ass white folks who, who are cheating uh, the government out of millions. Brother Roland, I appreciate the time. It's always a pleasure to be here. Um, I had a conversation with my buddy uh, yesterday when this was posted, and his first response to me, the, the sky is blue and water is wet. It's happening, it's continuing to happen, and because they found out that it's actually disparity at five times the amount of non-tax, non-black taxpayers are being audited, uh, it, it's ridiculous. So when we have five times the amount of our black folks that are being audited by the IRS and the disparities that are currently set, we have to understand that the system is working exactly how it was created to work. It's not broken. It was created against our communities, and we have to be very intentional about it. So I really want to thank, you know, uh, our representatives that sent out letters to, to investigate this. Representative Bill Pascrell from uh, from. New Jersey, he said, I need to find out about what's going on because this is disgraceful and must end. So thank you, Representative Bill Pascrell, for standing up for our community and fighting this injustice that was set forth against our community. So they're, they're, they're claiming this is tied to the earned income tax credit. Explain. So they're claiming that the EIC credit is the reason that the algorithm is causing for the the audits to be presented, and the majority of them are looked at. It's non-race bait. It's it's non it's non income based. It's based exclusively on some of the credits that are being received. But lo and behold, these credits are predominantly going to minority and low income families. So that's why a larger amount of individuals are currently being audited from our community. So the EIC credit, the earned income credit, that it actually is causing for the trigger of the audit was put in place and actually addressed by the representatives that have set the code to see who is determined to be audited and who's going to be taxed at a higher amount. So if we have to look at who's being taxed, why are they not auditing, as you said, the higher income class, the individuals, business owners, the individuals that actually have the ability to hide and shuffle funds around that created the, the code versus actually the ones that are just trying to make a living. So... Looking at this right now, we have to look at the significant wealth gap that's between white and black races. You have 20, 26% lower income in a white ho household from a black household, 150% lower median net worth from a white household to a black household. Yet we're being highly, uh, a higher rate of audits in a black household versus a white household. There's obviously a disparity that's being done, and we have to address that immediately. So what uh, should folks out there uh, be doing to protect themselves? So they say that it's race blind. Um, it's not. First they of all, ain't, ain't no way in hell is three to three times, three to five times more black people and it's race time. blind. It's not. It's not. Lo and behold, they put a code in place that's going to audit more black people than they are any other race. So it's not economic neutral. It's not race neutral. It is based upon a randomization, and that's the only way that we can genuinely actually audit clients properly, that we can do the proper taxes, uh, taxes across the board. They're taxing us at a higher rate. When you have individuals that are making more income, that are paying less tax than the low and median income families, it's ridiculous because they understand the, the, the discrepancies and disparities that they have to address. They understand that they actually have tax barriers and benefits with home ownership, with business ownership. 
So this is not being taught to our families, but we're actually being audited at a higher rate and then actually having to pay back taxes because we're trying to take some of the credits that they've put in place for the upper class, for the individuals that create this code. Right. And that's the point that I make. It, it was not created for us. It was created for them. Listen, I say it all the time. I serve on the city council in my city. And the reason I started to serve this community is because I saw the, the systemic racism that was created. And if we don't have a seat at the table, we cannot change these laws. So it doesn't matter white, black, Hispanic, Asian. When you're at the table and you're making decisions, you have to fight for us. Again, I'm going to thank Democratic representative from New Jersey because he fought for us. He said this is disgraceful. Any individual that's sitting at the table, you have to be a decision maker. So as a tax provider, as somebody that's actually providing this code and also being a tax a policymaker in my city, I understand that if we're not at the table, we are going to be on the menu. Well, this is, uh, I mean, absolutely crazy. But look, uh, we know what it means to be black in America. It, it, it hasn't changed. And, and as my buddy said, uh, Olu told me, water's wet, sky is blue. Nothing's changed. This is who we are. But we have to continue to fight for what is right. So random audits is what we have to truly do. Do not base it upon any code that directly disparages our community. Base it upon a randomization where one through six, they're picking number four. Whatever it takes to not address the concerns that we have that's being causing for us to be segregated, causing for us to be repressed, causing for us to be put into a position where we're discriminated against. Candace, you see this here. I mean, who do these folks think they fooling? We know black folks are being targeted. And listen, any time that you are black in America and you're walking around the streets and something about something feels a little bit off, you, you were probably right in assuming that it is because you are black in America. So when I hear about the IRS and, and the audits that have probably been unlawfully done, I'm just here waiting for the lawsuit. There are a lot of people who are going to be going back in their records and saying, why was I audited? Was I a part of this? And you know that there's a discrimination lawsuit going. And let me tell you, when we talk about the IRS, we are talking about mental anguish and distress and I'm sure that there's going to be some type of distress part of the lawsuit that's going to be a big part of it. Because anybody who knows when the IRS is on your back, it is stressful. It is stressful. So I expect a lawsuit to be coming. Uh, and, 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 man, I mean, my goodness. I mean, <laughs> we're talking about folk with the lowest uh, wealth in this country and being hit three to five times more when you got all these rich folk who uh, they the ones who really uh, need to be targeted. Yeah, I, I don't think that's wrong at all. And I think what's especially insidious about this is the idea that when you look at the earned income tax credit, what you're talking about is people below a certain uh, median, you know, home ownership or rather home uh, asset value, right, or assets in their home. So that means to me that there's an implication that these people are people who are allegedly defrauding the IRS, right? When in reality, to the brother's point earlier, we know that the people who are in business and who have the greatest means are those who employ the greatest means to avoid paying the most taxes. So one, the dog whistling there is, is readily apparent. But beyond that, our tax code is one that caters to a higher echelon of earner. So the idea that the lowest echelon of earners, which here obviously dovetails with black and brown people, unfortunately, because of the dispor disproportion in our society, uh, shows that there's an implication that people are cheating the system. And these are the people who are not cheating the system, are, in fact, the people who are not that the system is created for, which is the richer folks. So I think you're right. And I think um, Candace is completely right. I am interested in what the standing issue will look like um, regarding taxpayers. But for the IRS to come out and say this is, is pretty uh, extraordinary. But I bet you it's been going on for many, many years at this point. No doubt, Michael. Yeah, Roland, you know, this is not surprising. Uh, what I want to know is what does this equate to in total dollar amounts uh, that African-Americans have to pay as a result of being audited? Like, owing more to the IRS, what is that total amount uh, nationwide? And then also it's important, so this deals with systemic racism, as we all know, uh, except for black conservatives. Um, it's also important to note that African Americans pay 13 percent more in property taxes each year as well. And this is documented. There was a, a article Washington Post had in July 2020 that talks about this as well. And uh, 100 and, and, and uh, property taxes from 118 million households 
roads across the country were reviewed, and they found this as well. So uh, this is something that has to be corrected. In the article from the New York Times, they talk about uh, the algorithms, but we, we also see that there can be systemic racism in these algorithms as well. So this has to be fixed. All right, folks, back to our Roadblock Unfiltered video in just one moment. When you talk about blackness and what happens in black culture, we're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Check some money orders. Go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 2003-7-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 